see now i am going to teach you how to apply this bias tape now this is the neckline and i am going to apply bias tape and finish this neckline with the help of this bias tape for this neckline finishing i require double fold bias tape okay to learn how to make this bias tape just watch my previous video in that video i taught you how to make single fold and double fold bias tape and how to use them on different dresses there are two method of applying this bias tape one is cheater method and one is original method which is used by professionals but right now i am teaching you how to apply this with the help of cheater method that because this cheater method is really very easy to apply see this is front panel and here i'm going to apply this for this see this is the bias tape and it is the center this is the center point just keep one side here this is right side of the cloth one side here on the bottom of the cloth and another side on the top okay in this fashion you when you stitch on sewing machine on corners you will be able to stitch on front and the back simultaneously on both sides simultaneously just insert pin so that you will be able to stitch correctly now here again after small gap just keep the center point and turn it as this is bias tape so this can turn easily now see uh, to apply this just keep this cloth this is right side of the cloth okay just keep it on bias tape center and fold it like this as you fold it just insert and sew just keep stitching slowly keep this neckline over here at the center of bias tape and sew it after this again keep inside and sew Now see this bias tape is attached and the neckline front neckline is ready see and after ready just iron it to give it more finishing okay in this manner you are able to attach this broad pipe in bias tape on neckline now how to apply thin pipe in bias tape on any blouse or dress here I am going to make this thin very thin piping to make a really very thin piping or bias tape for neckline of blouse or dresses you require just small amount of this bias strip to learn how to make this bias strip you just visit my previous video here I took just one inch wide cloth because I need very small 0.25 inch of bias tape okay and this is sing this is just bias strip okay now just keep this bias strip over here and go to sewing machine and sew after being just small margin of one foot of sewing machine see just keep this foot here and you require just one foot this one foot of sewing machine see stitch See carefully when the circle is coming, round shape is coming, just sew along it in this manner. Go little by little. now see i have stitched this this is right side of the cloth if you see i have stitched this after keeping just one foot of this paddle now turn it like this see and turn this little bit to what extent you want it to make like this we want to learn from here 
just turn it like this okay how to stitch if you just turn it little bit like this you want this much thin piping this much thin bias tape so you take this if you want somewhat broad then you just take like this okay this is original method this is not cheater method this is original method now I want this much thin so I will keep it this much thin okay and then insert it and you are going to stitch in between this do not stitch on this green part or your bias tape do not stitch on this cloth just stitch in between this I am using bias tape of another color so that you will identify it easily and learn easily just insert see in this fashion I just keep old cloth another side and stitching with practice you will be able to learn it easily do it easily now see this is the wrong side of the cloth from here this piping is like this now I am going to give finishing to it to give finishing take thread and needle and do hem stitch start from one side here this is the extra cloth now turn this extra see now turn this extra cloth toward inner side like this turn this extra cloth toward inner side take thread and needle and do hem stitch how to do hem stitch insert and take out after a gap insert thread in and take out and from right side of the cloth now it's done with thin piping bias tape see to join cross bag if you want to make it more finishing uh, then you can apply this double fold bias tape on cross bags as well on shoulder as well there is no requirement of interlock just keep this double fold bias tape here see this is foldable just keep this somewhat outer side and then fold it like this it is to give more finishing and fold it okay like this and go to sewing machine and start from here stitch and stitch till end now keep this in this in this fashion there is no need of interlock or overlock just turn it and do hand stitch to lock this at one side only do hand stitch a small amount like this much only there is no requirement of hand stitch till end just to tuck it at one side only so to apply this bias tape on sleeves now I am teaching you correct method right method of stitching uh, bias tape this is double fold bias tape so this is fold double fold like this you just open it now this is single fold you just open it again here you can see the mark of iron or pressing then you just keep it over here this is right method of applying this bias tape by professionals just keep it here go to sewing machine and sew on this all over now this is right method here i am going to apply it like this see you can see i have opened it apply when the turn is coming I will apply like this I have finished with 
this always use this correct method whenever there is more curve in your dress in your neckline or sleeve hole arm hole okay just make small small cuts on all sides so that it will be easily turnable and there will be no hike in this there will be no problem in this wherever the turn is coming make sure you will make small small cuts and make sure you will not cut this stitch now after making these small small cuts I am going to do my final step keep it like this and from here you can see this is double fold and this is the fold in this fashion ok just fold it and sew here again I am stitching this from the right side of the cloth just fold it and sew here you find that uh, this is folded from here and if you keep it like this you just try uh, you just make sure that you will just take it out somewhat more where you are going to stitch see I'm going to stitch in on this um, on this stitch like this I'm not going to stitch on this green part or I'm not going to stitch on this cloth I'm going to stitch in between over here so just make sure that you will keep this slightly more on this side so that stitch will come on both sides keep all extra cloth inside from the back and stretch apply keep all extra cloth inside of this bias tape under this bias tape stretch and apply in this fashion you are able to apply this bias tape on armhole and it's looking very great give it finishing as uh, as if it is ready made top in case of sleeves bottom i can apply single bias tape as well as double bias tape how i can apply single bias tape see this is single bias tape of half inches this is single bias tape of half inches made this out of one inch wide this is single bias tape of half inches and this is double bias tape of half inch okay so now we can apply both of them but what are the different method to apply them if you want to apply single bias tape do you have to do its bottom turning this is right side of my sleeve and on right side of my sleeve I can turn it on this side like this okay half inches these are two methods of applying single on sleeves bottom see I have up, turned this half inches and keep this bias tape on it like this and I just keep uh, somewhat above of this so that it will look like double piping as this is broad piping and this is thin piping it look more nice so if you want to apply this single one just sew this one end one side and sew this another side on sewing machine there is another method to turn it if your uh, if your bottom cloth is of another color then you just take its wrong side this sleeve bottom on wrong side you turn it once and then twice go to sewing machine and sew it once and then twice after turning you just keep this single bias tape on it from one side and another side now it's time to teach you how to apply double bias tape on sleeve bottom to apply double bias tape on sleeve bottom see this is double bias tape keep it keep this cloth on it this is right side of the cloth on the center okay and then turn it like this 
okay now it is looking like this go to sewing machine and sew from here in this case there is no need of bottom turning of the cloth okay so you just direct you can directly apply this bias tape on it in this fashion you are able to attach bias tape on sleeves bottom this is double bias tape now we have learned how to apply single bias tape and double bias tape on sleeves how to apply bias tape with original method on armhole this is broad piping bias tape and i recommend you to use original method because it gives more finishing than this one this is cheater method i taught you how to apply this thin pipe in bias tape for blouses and your kurtis etc so you can experiment with all these type of bias tapes keep watching your imagination please like subscribe and share my videos on your social media thank you